second house is a very important house in horoscope why because it indicates family if one is born in a good family they will get good education good ethics and morals right from childhood which will you know give them good education will ensure good profession and generally they will get married to in a good family itself which will give a very resourceful spouse and will make their life good so birth in a good family is a type of blessing that is the particular reason it is told that if someone does a lot of good karmas in previous life such as making donations or helping people as a result of this particular virtue they are born in a good family and this is seen with respect to second house i have seen something here if there are good planets in second house beneficial powerful planets in the second house and if they give birth in a good family it generally indicates that the person is financially not very successful until and unless lagna lord and 11th house 11th lord is also powerful on the other hand if there are strong beneficial plan strong or beneficial planets in the second house and if they don't give a good family then in that particular scenario it ensures that person will be very very successful at least financially right so as we have decided that as we have seen that you know being born in a particular type of family have to do a lot more with the uh, future of the native regarding how things are going to be how easy the life will be so you can also say that if there is a powerful planet in second house then in that particular scenario one is born in a very good very well to do family and a strong planet in second house a very powerful second lord as i told you will also ensure that native have done good karmas in previous life he have donated but he have donated things he have helped the people and a strong second house or second house lord in mul trikona surashi varguttam status will also indicate that because of this good karma one is supposed to have a successful life one is supposed to have a blessed life and i have often seen that these people even if they are going through hardships at current time eventually they are successful and all their wishes and desires are fulfilled or rather i should say whatever society expects from a person they have all such expectations filled so this is very very good now with respect to the type of planets in the second house coming to family if sun mars jupiter or rahu are in the second house which indicate male planets it does indicate that male members in the family are prominent it is generally the father or some other person who is prominent or ruler in the family and everyone follows his opinion on the other hand with other planets moon venus mercury and ketu it is the females who rule the family generally females or male ruling the family will also indicate like if female is ruling the family it will also indicate that grand mother may live for long mother or father may have more female siblings as compared to male siblings and all of that but one thing is there with malefics in the second house that we are predicting the native's family will be ruled by females which may also mean that there are many separated females in family or females having bad marital life in family it also tells us that females in the family may have to work which will significantly reduce the time of amount the, the amount of time and love and care that they can give to the native and to the other family members so this is the downturn of having female planets in the second house apart from this generally if the planet in second house or it is also applicable to the second lord if the planet in the second house or second lord is varguttam in the same rashi and in the same navamsh in this particular scenario it ensures that family members are well to do they are enjoying raj yoga probably the native is born in a family who have people placed at high position in their profession which will ensure that the native gets good success good upbringing and gets married to a good family also because 80% of the time you get married to the type of family as per your social status only it is only 80% of time not always this is something that you will have to keep in mind right specifically with 
planets like sun and mars in second house i have seen that 80% of the time these people will have to separate from their family and generally in old age or after the age of 55 60 they are generally forced to live alone which may mean separation from life partner separation from children separation from life partner with malefics in the second house is also very certain because it is eighth from the eighth from the seventh house and this result though malefics are rahu and saturn also but this result is more prominent with sun and mars in the second house Generally, separation with children may not be indicated as in the native is getting divorced and the spouse is getting the custody of children, but it can also be indicated in this particular way that children are living, children are living, working, or getting education in some other state, in some other state or some other country, which is effectively making the native live alone. Not only this, even in foreign settlement, second house is very, very important. My formula for foreign settlement for any native is an afflicted second house and fourth house. Second house indicates your family, fourth house indicates your home, also your birthplace. So if someone is going to go to foreign land, it will be that the native will be separated from his family, at least initially. So until and unless the second house is afflicted, going to foreign land is not possible. 80% of the time, people go to foreign land only with an afflicted second house. In this scenario, later on, the person can also call his family to the foreign land, but of course, complete family with all the cousins and all the extended family, one cannot bring to the foreign land for this particular. And second house indicates extended family because mother is in fourth house, father is in ninth house, sibling is in third house, children are in fifth house, and wife or spouse is already there in the seventh house. So which family Second house is indicating, it is culminatively indicating all of these members and also indicating extended part of family as well. So for anyone to have a foreign settlement, go to a foreign land, there have to be an afflicted second house, which also means that if the second house lord is powerful or if the second house lord is connected to the second house, situated in second house, expecting the second house, then in that particular scenario, generally native lives in his homeland and do not get settled to foreign countries. This is a very important formula that you have to keep in mind. Also, regarding problems to parents, death of mother, father and all of these things or health problems to parents because second house indicates family as a whole. Malefics transiting in the second house will indicate that family members are going into problems. So you see, though second house is not directly related to mother, father, sibling, children or spouse, Malefics transiting through the second house will land them into problem. Which relative will go into problem? That is to be decided by the planet who is transiting in the second house and other uh, planets that are connected to this transiting house, uh, to, to this transiting planet in the second house. And this connection can be a connection from transit or this connection can be a transiting planet connecting to a natal planet. Right? This is one important thing for this particular reason itself, the planet in the second house and second lot is not only mark for the native. Seventh house is only mark for the native, but second house and second house lot is a mark for the native and also a mark for family members of the native, except for child, because for the fifth house, this is the 10th house, though a major classic takes 10th house to be mark also, but <clears throat> leaving aside the house of children, being 8th house from the 7th house, 12th house from the 3rd house, 11th house from the 4th house, and 6th house from the 10th house, a malefic planet situated in 2nd house or an afflicted 2nd lord in their dasha. And the dasha can also cause death or health problems to every relative in the family except children. So for this particular reason, because 2nd house have many secondary uses, right, or you say territory uses, it is very important to analyze second house very properly in horoscope because we have came to the concept of Marak. And this Marak concept, I think, is fairly misunderstood. And because people don't understand good concepts like Marak, their astrological progress and their predictive skills are not very good as such. Regarding Marak, planets in the second house and seventh house and second and seventh lord are Marak. Marak planet, which basically means killer, can cause death. But apart from that, 
it also creates other problems. All the type of problems are domain of Marat in Vedic astrology, right? So be it health problem, death, disease, termination of job, being ashamed, being expelled from job, being expelled from home or any such bad result, it is given by Marat planets only. Who is a Marat planet? Malefic situated in second house. I am talking about second house, so I will take example of second house, but Marat is seventh house also. The same example can be applied to seventh house as well. Planet situated in second house is generally a Marat. If it is a malefic planet, naturally malefic, Mars, Sun, Saturn, Rahu, they are Marat. Right? These planets, even in their good Rashis, are Marat. Though in good Rashis, Exaltation, Vargottam, Swarashi, Multrikon, their Marat effect is reduced. But they are Marat. Naturally malefics, natural malefics in the second house are Marat for sure. Regarding functional malefics, 3rd, 6th, 8th and 12th house lord in the 2nd house, they are also Marak. 8th lord in 2nd house will be expecting 8th house back. So it is not actually killer, but health problems and other issues it will create. Most importantly, it will become Marak for parents and other relatives. 6th lord in 2nd house is quite problematic. And this is Marak. 12th lord in 2nd house is also Marak. And third lord in 2nd house is also Marak. So a bad planet situated in the 2nd house is a Marak. Naturally, malefic planets are also Marak. Functionally, malefic planets are also Marak. Regarding beneficial planets, if they are a lot of bad houses, as I have told you, they will become a Marak. But apart from that, benefic planets situated in second house in a good Rashi generally do not become a Marak. But if they are situated in bad Rashi, they will become a Marak. And by Marak, you should understand death, loss of job, loss of owner, and all of these things that I have told you. Regarding second lord, if the second lord is powerful, generally it does not become Marak. It does not kill, but the slight 10 to 20% Marak results are there. Right? If the second lord is in a good condition, good Rashi, Multrikon, Vargottam, Surashi, Exaltation, etc. Apart from that, if the second lord is not in a good condition, then second lord certainly becomes a Marak. Most, most importantly, when the second lord is a naturally malefic planet also. Second lord situated in bad houses, 3rd, 6th and 12th houses becomes a great Marak situated in 8th house. He expects the 2nd house back. So the Marak result is a less, but the blemish of being a Marak is there. One thing we have to understand, you see, you know Raji Yogas. Right, They're like Raji Yogas are there and Dhani Yogas are there. But what is anti-Raji Yoga? What is opposite of Raji Yoga? They are Dhani Yogas, Khali Yogas, Preshi Yogas. Then yoga, then means miserable living condition. One having then yoga will have miserable living condition. Khali yoga, khal means bad person. So person having khali yoga will be evil person and no one will associate with evil person, right? So that is a problem. Presh yoga, presh means a servant and the person will be forced to do servitude. So how are these bad conditions made? You know how the Raj Yoga is made. Do you know how the Raj Yoga is destroyed? 98% of the horoscopes in the world will have Raj Yoga. Right. If you consider all the traditional and Parashari Raji Yoga, 99% of horoscope will have Raji Yoga. But are these many people successful? No. You should know the cancellation of Raji Yoga. Talking of traditional Raji Yoga that is made when a planet is in a good Rashi condition, exalted, Vargottam, Multrikon, Swarashi, etc. You know this will be cancelled when the planet goes into bad Rashi conditions. Right? Bad Navamsh, Inimical Navamsh, Malefic Navamsh, Combustion and all of these things. Right? The Raji Yoga, traditional Raji Yoga, which is from the strength of planet as per the Rashi, Multrikon, Vargottam, Surashi, etc. is destroyed. But the Parashari Raji Yoga, which is made by a combination between the 4th Lord connected to 5th house and 9th house or 5th house or 9th Lord or 10th house, 10th Lord connected to 5th house or 9th house or Lagna Lord just being powerful will make Parashari Raji Yoga or a Raj or a yoga Raj Yoga Kari planet, a singular planet who is Lord of Kendra and Kona both, just being powerful will make a Parashari Raj Yoga. This Raj Yoga is very common to be seen, but people are not successful in that common amounts. So the destruction of Parashari Raj Yoga happens by the connection of Marak planet to the Raj Yoga makers. So you say if the ninth Lord and 10th Lord are connected in a house, but they are also aspected by or conjoined by 7th Lord or 2nd Lord, then the conjunction of this Marak will destroy the Raj Yoga 
or if the Raji Yoga making planets are more powerful as per Rashi, as per Rashi and Shadabal, then complete destruction of Raji Yoga will not happen, but a significant reduction in Raji Yoga result will happen for sure. So a critical analysis of the horoscope is needed. Just looking at a horoscope, looking at a connection between ninth Lord and 10th Lord and just exclaiming that I am having a Raj Yoga and I will be very successful is a novice opinion. And this is not the way how professionals, professional astrologers are supposed to analyze a horoscope. You have to take into consideration good and bad both factors and have to predict the result accordingly. Not only this, in fact, 3rd Lord, 6th Lord, 8th Lord and 12th Lord, these bad house lords, when they are connected to Raj Yoga houses, they also destroy the Raj Yogas. 12th Lord is a neutral basically. So 12th Lord do not destroy Raj Yoga as such. The greatest planet to destroy the Raj Yoga is the 8th Lord. But 6th Lord and 3rd Lord also significantly reduce the Raj Yoga. Not only Lord of these houses, if the Raj Yoga connection between these houses, 4th house and 10th house and 5th house and 9th house or the strength of the Lagna Lord or the Yokara planet, if this combination or the strength to these house lords are happening in these bad houses, which I have just mentioned for destruction of Raj Yoga, it significantly reduces the Raj Yoga. So you understand one thing, 9th and 10th Lord are connected. They also get connected to 2nd Lord, 7th Lord, 8th Lord, 6th Lord, 3rd Lord. It will be a destruction of Raj Yoga. Only in the case when the 9th Lord and 10th Lord who are making a connection are more powerful than this negative Rajyug destroyer planet. In that case, Rajyug will be there, but it will be significantly reduced. 9th and 10th Lord just conjoining in the 6th house will not destroy the Rajyug as such, but it will significantly reduce the impact that the Rajyug is going to give. So in this particular way, this analysis have to be carried out and only after properly judging merits and demerits of a yoga, a result have to be predicted. Otherwise, it will be problematic. Right? This is something that you have to understand. Right? And this is why the second house is very important, right? Because right in the second house comes this particular concept of Denni Yoga, Kali Yoga and Prashi Yoga. Right? So regarding this yoga, some other day we should talk. Right? But this is the basic point that you have to keep into mind the cancellation or the compromise of Raj Yoga that happens with the Marak planet going into Raj Yoga, connecting to the Raj Yoga making planets or the bad house lords connected with Raj Yoga making planets. One confusion can be here. If my fifth lord is sixth lord or if my fifth lord is eighth lord in that scenario, what happens? This is called Sadoshi Yoga Karak. This is called Blemished Yoga Karak. So first of all, if your 5th Lord is also the 8th Lord and this is connected with 10th Lord, the Raj Yoga will not be as great as what you will call a Raj Yoga with a 5th and 10th house connection. It will be little bit reduced Raj Yoga. It will be only 75 to 80% applicable. This is point number 1. Secondarily, for this Raj Yoga to be really effective, you will need a third planet because this fifth Lord, who is also the 8th house Lord, is already blemished. So just his singular connection with 10th house Lord will not suffice. Now, in this case, for the result to be actual Raj Yoga-like result, either another good house Lord, 9th Lord, 5th Lord, Lagna Lord should come into play and make a connection or the 10th Lord or the 5th Lord should be good into good as per the Rashi, Exalted Vargotta Moltrikona so Rashi which will indicate that traditional Raj Yogas are also being made and the planet being powerful going into good Rashi, he will lose his bad character and the good results will be increased in which case the, the result of the Raj Yoga will be equal to what we understand as a Raj Yoga result. This have to be understood very clearly. One more principle is there. Many a times people are confused. Sir, Venus is my Lagana Lord and 8th house Lord result of which house it will primarily give. So if you notice, every planet owns two houses. One is a male Rashi, one is a female Rashi. Right? Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius are male Rashis. And Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn and Pisces are female Rashis. If a planet is situated in his male Rashi, he will give a result of his male Rashi. If a planet is situated in female Rashi, he will give a result of a female Rashi. 
So you say for a Taurus ascendant native, Venus is Lagna Lord and sixth house Lord. If it is situated in female Rashis, it will work like Lagna Lord. If it is situated in male Rashis, it will work like sixth house. This is what you have to understand and the result have to be decided accordingly. So if the fifth Lord, if the ninth Lord, who is also the sixth Lord <coughs> is making a connection with 10th Lord, right? Ninth Lord, also the sixth Lord will happen in Capricorn ascendant only. In which case, the Rashi in the ninth house will be Virgo, right? So ninth Lord and 10th Lord are connected for Capricorn ascendant where the ninth Lord is sixth Lord also. If this connection is happening in a female Rashi, this is a Raj Yoga. If this combination is happening in a male Rashi, this is destruction of a Raj Yoga. This is how this should be understood. And I think I have explained it to the greatest length possible. Now only variations into it are there, but you, if you have watched at least 15 of my videos, you know how to deal with variations and you can very easily. <clears throat> Another thing that comes in the second house is Dhan Yoga. I have previously talked about it also. Second house and 11th house indicate wealth. Powerful planets in this house, lord of these houses are powerful. One will be wealthy, one will have Dhan Yoga. But for the native himself to have the wealth, it is not like the wealth is around the native. He is born in a rich family. Siblings are rich and all of these things. If the sibling is rich, he is not going to give you money. You have to understand it. If your father is rich, it is money of the father. It's, it is not your money. Right? So for the money to be with you, you need a powerful lagna or a powerful lagna lord. If not, then this dhani yoga, the powerful planet being in the second house or eleventh house or second or eleventh lord being powerful is giving dhani yoga. But this wealth will be with you only, with you only if the Lagna or Lagna Lord is powerful. Apart from that, fifth and ninth houses are called special wealth houses, right? So fifth and ninth Lord powerful, though they are not wealth houses, but fifth and ninth Lord being powerful or powerful planets situated in fifth and ninth house. I have seen that these people don't have to worry about wealth as they have sufficient amount of money in their life. If the second Lord, 11th Lord somehow gets connected to fifth Lord or ninth Lord also, or if these houses are connected, you say ninth Lord is going into second house or 11th Lord is going into fifth house and all of these cases, then it will also make a great Raji, great Dhani Yoga wealth combination. And because special wealth and normal wealth houses are conjoining, it makes the person very, very wealthy. But in all of this setup, Lagna Lord should be powerful. Lagna should be powerful for the native to enjoy wealth and for the wealth to be super wealth in this wealth combination. If the Lagna Lord or Lagna is also coming into play either by one way or the other, Lagna Lord is expecting or the combination is being made in Lagna or the combination is being made in 7th house from where it is expecting the Lagna, the person can be super rich also. Apart from this 5th Lord in 11th house, 11th Lord in 5th house is also a super rich combination complemented with a strong Lagna and Lagna Lord, strong 10th house and 10th house Lord. This is a combination which can make the person a millionaire at least. But the same concept that we have done previously with Raj Yoga, as you will have to understand, slight modification is there that in Raj Yoga, Second Lord is working as Marak destroying Raj Yoga in Dhani Yoga because second house indicates wealth itself. It is not destroying the Dhani Yoga, but seventh Lord, twelfth Lord, eighth Lord, sixth Lord, and third house Lord will significantly reduce the Dhani Yoga because twelfth house and twelfth Lord is neutral. The diminish or the decrease in yoga caused by the twelfth house or twelfth Lord will be minimal. 8th house, 6th house and 3rd house and 7th house are quite problematic in this particular scenario because 7th house is Kendra. Again, the reduction caused by 7th house is minimal, though more than what is caused by the 12th house, but quite minimal. Most problematic planet is the 8th Lord who can destroy any combination, be it Raj Yoga or Dhan Yoga. So on the same lines, based on the merit and demerit of the Dhan Yoga also, the quantity of wealth should be judged. Otherwise, your analysis will be faulty. Your analysis will be problematic. This is to be done properly while keeping the good and the bad points into mind, right? <clears throat> hmm. 
one more thing is there the reduction if we are saying that say a raj a dhan yoga is being made a wealth combination is being made in horoscope but that wealth combination is reduced by the uh, by the mixing of eighth lord in the combination it is reduced or destroyed to decide that you will see whether the eighth lord is powerful or the planets making dhan yoga are powerful this you will have to analyze properly and only after proper analysis you can predict the result in fact what is special with second house is that a powerful planet in second house even if it is a malefic a powerful planet in second house even though malefic can make the native very rich on the other hand if there is a naturally benefic planet in the second house then also it can make the native rich if naturally benefic planet in second house is also powerful by rashi it will make the native super rich reduction formulas as i told you before you will apply you see classically speaking saturn in the second house aspected by sun or sun in the second house aspected by saturn is a pranabhuk yoga pranabhuk yoga means person is eating food given by others person is beggar this yoga does it work into practice 50 50 Why fifty fifty? I have told you before that if a planet is influenced by his Rashi Lord, then in that particular scenario, the planet becomes powerful. So Saturn in second house in Leo aspected by Sun, it is not a pran book. It is a great wealth combination. Sun in second house in the Rashi of Capricorn or Aquarius aspected by Saturn, it is not a pran book. Yog, it is a great wealth combination. Apart from that, if Saturn or Sun in the second house aspected by any planet. if saturn or sun in second house are in good rashi then it is not a pran book combination in fact it is a wealth combination if saturn or sun in second house are 11th 5th 9th or lagna lords then also it is not a pran book combination it is a great wealth combination talking of wealth lagna lord in second house or 11th house is also a great wealth combination second lord or 11th lord in lagna is also a great wealth combination but you will have to keep in mind the merits and demerits and the analysis as i have done otherwise your analysis can be faulty right this you will have to understand so any planet right simply if you accept things like malefic in the second house makes you poor these things are not going to work right astrology is a deep science there is nothing such as fast food astrology only after proper analysis you can give answer otherwise you are shooting arrows in dark it will go nowhere right this is something that you will have to understand so dhan yoga is clear marriage is clear planet in family is also clear what more second house indicates speech also and talking of speech if the person is good in talking they will have friends they will have good social contacts they will be famous also the result for fame is good talking that if you talk well you are famous you are supported by people you are loved by people so one you will have friends also if the second lord is powerful the voice is effective no matter whatever you are saying people are listening to you this will make you famous this will make you supported by people this means that in the time of distress in life because you are having contacts and because you are su getting support from people in the time of distress you can get easily rescued in fact the time of distress will not last long because you will be supported by people right so second lord powerful makes people listen to you it makes you famous and influential right influential you also have to understand like this say if one person is having four friends only but these four friends are highly situated the person loses his job but he talks to his four friends get a little bit money from them from that money he starts a business now though this person is not having a great friend circle but he is influential because he can get help of his friends that many of us cannot get so this is something that we will have to keep in mind and have to analyze it accordingly regarding speech if there are benefics in the second house powerful planet in the second house will also indicate that once his speech is very effective people are listening to him people are following him this also means like if the second lord is powerful there is a powerful planet in second house then the person's speech is very impactful people are listening to him which also means that person can do good into things like politics person can become a celebrity because people will listen to him he can be a very good orator also and in this particular case such professions can be taken regarding professions what i have seen no i will tell you secret 
principles related to profession as astrologers apply it nowadays they don't work analysis of profession is one of the most difficult area in astrology but this is the most important thing that have to be done talking of the real method to judge the profession or the real 100% foolproof method for profession something which never fails and a technique using which if you recommend profession to native it is actually good see you say a native is earning normal amount of money he is not able to do whatever he want his necessities are even not fulfilled he get a consultation from you you tell him that you are having a bad wealth combination so struggle and compromise have to be there okay tata bye bye what help you have done to him as an astrologer if you go to a doctor he will see report he will say you are having this disease now go home no he will give you medicine also so as an astrologer you will give him some solution also and the solution is find the most powerful house in your horoscope do profession as per the house and if it is second house your profession have to be related to speech consulting politics giving advice to people oratory radio jockey these professions related to voice and face second house indicates face also modeling etc photography going into movies these professions you can choose and you will be very successful into it also because this is what your horoscope is indicating right this is what your horoscope is indicating right a very effective speech this is the result person can go into that particular profession also he is well supported by people powerful planet in the second house does that apart from that if there are benefic planets in the second house if there are no planets what you will do you will see aspects if there are benefic planets in the second house it indicates the person is sweet spoken sweet spoken will give you a large friend circle you will be loved by people you will be cared by people you will never be alone there will always be someone who will ask how are you will want to spend time with you you are not alone on the other hand malefics in the second house may indicate that either you are very harsh in your speech or you are very straight forward which will significantly limit your friend circle it will also indicate that at the time of distress there can be no one by your side and you may feel alone so generally loneliness in life or surrounded by friends you can easily judge with respect to whether benefic planets are influencing the second house or malefic planets are influencing the second house not only that speech related defects stammering etc is also seen with respect to second house if there are malefics in second house the second lord is also afflicted and afflicted by more than one malefic then in that particular sense like one malefic is in second house or more than one malefic is in second house and second lord is also weak not in kendras outside of kendras it will indicate speech defects now what type of malefic or what type of planet is influencing it that have to be taken into consideration generally mercury indicates stammering saturn indicates that one is struck while speaking and all such issues so prime point is that if the house and house lord is afflicted it will indicate problem what type of problem for that what type of problem you will have to see which planet is afflicting the house or the house lord or the house or the house lord who is afflicted is situated in which rashi for an example right now i have given you result only for mercury and saturn stammering and stub the walk right he stopped while speaking forgetting words while speaking and all of that <clears throat> so you say malefic in the second house or second lord afflicted neither the malefic in the second house is mercury saturn nor the second lord afflicted nor the second lord is afflicted by mercury or saturn then what then you will check the rashi in the second house or rashi where the second lord is situated in if this rashi is not of mercury or saturn then you have to check the navamsh of the second lord but because there are only two planets who are signifying speech related issues you have to find a connection right only then you can predict what is the problem otherwise you cannot predict what is the problem generally generally what i have seen that people try to take more planets into consideration that okay if mercury or saturn are not influencing but mars is influencing let's give some significations to mars based on our understanding also and predict the result this is a erroneous problematic approach it will never work it never worked it never it will never work it never worked in past it does not work right now it will never work in future because the application of the technique is not correct and if any astrologer is teaching principles like this they themselves don't know astrology regarding others what to say coming back to it i think this point is very very clear the karaka for speech is mercury so mercury should be afflicted see whenever you say a major bad result you not only have to see house and house lord but you have to see significant as well 
So afflicted mercury will also indicate speech related issues. Talking of speech, if mercury is in movable sign, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn or Libra, the person will be speaking fast. If mercury is going into a fixed Rashi, that is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius and Leo, the person will be speaking slow. If the Mercury is going into Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius or Pisces, then what the native is speaking and what the native is meaning can be very different. And also the native can use words which are not in a flow, right? Or native can say words which though are conveying what he wants to say, but are not well-formed sentences, right? This is basic setup. Apart from that, if Mercury is afflicted in that particular scenario, either the voice is not very clear or the person to whom the native is talking cannot make the right sense of what the native is meaning or the native can be easily misunderstood. On the other hand, when Mercury is influenced by beneficial planets in that particular scenario, the way of speaking, the way of talking, the gesture, pronunciation is very good and people want to talk to him and the person will generally have a very good vocabulary, very good formation of sentences it will make for this particular reason, many a times it is also told that this person will be poet because it is the, it is understood that poets are the people who can make the best sentences in the world. This is what is assumed. This is what is understood. So this have to be taken in this way. Regarding problems related to second house, second house indicates eyes also, right? To be specific, right eye. Generally, both eyes in the case of second house indicating the right eye, left eye is indicated by 12th house. But overall, eyes are indicated by second house only. Only if the second house is indicating problem, you will say eye related issues and then you can check between second house and 12th house and can say specifically which eye is having problem. The affliction of 12th house will not generally cause problem related to eyes. It is the second house which will cause problem related to eyes. Now in the speech, what I told you, if the second house is afflicted by two or more than two malefics and the second lord is also afflicted by two or more than two malefics and second lord is weak also. I told you not in Kendra's. Why? Because being in Kendra is a strength for planet. If the planet is outside of Kendra, it is weak. Apart from that, it, if it is weak from Rashi and Navamsh also, it becomes very, very weak it becomes very, very weak, in which case it will create problems related to the house. Now, second house, one is a speech related issue. Second is eye related issue. For a speech related issue, what you have seen, you have seen the influence of Mercury for stammering and Saturn for forgetting words or, you know, stopping in between while talking, right? What is called stabdava, right? For, and the significator, and the significator for speech defect was Mercury. Right. And I told you, apart from house and house lord, you will also have to see the significator for eyes. The significator will be sun and moon. Venus is also taken as significator, but primarily sun and moon are significators. So the affliction of second house, the weakness of second lord, affliction of second lord. And apart from that, the weakness and affliction of sun and moon also have to be there for loss of eyesight. Both of them are afflicted. There is complete loss of eyesight. Otherwise, sun indicates right eye and moon indicates left eye. This is what you have to understand. Now, as I told you before, in the case of speech defects, Mercury indicates stammering and Saturn indicates stopping while, you know, like missing words or not able to find words or stopping in between. Right. It is indicated by Saturn. In the case of eye issues, I just told you, sun indicates right eye, moon indicates left eye, Venus also indicates loss of eyesight and Rahu also indicates loss of eyesight. So second house afflicted, second lord afflicted and weak, they are also connected to sun, moon, Venus, Rahu, either in Rashi or in Navamsh, it will indicate which eye is having a problem and as per the severity of the problem, severity of eye disease should be Right. This is to be understood. Apart from that, I also told you that second house is face. Face is equal to beauty. So generally you see ascendant for it. And if ascendant is influenced by beneficial planets, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Ketu, the person will be very beautiful, very attractive. 
lagan lagan is more personality related right like body as a whole how the person dresses up how the person behaves how the person talks the person as a whole is attractive if the ascendant is influenced by beneficial planets on the other hand if the second house is influenced by these beneficial planets moon jupiter venus mercury ketu in that particular scenario the face of the native can be very good charming good looking and all of these things right so lagna is over our personality and how the native carries himself and all of that second house is face only but in things related to modeling movies and all of these things if you have to see the beauty of the native you will have to see the second house now as it is commonly understood but i should repeat it that this beneficial planet is connected to the second house but in a weak condition is not of any use either the person will not be that beautiful or the beauty can be lost because of some accidents if the second lord is powerful sorry if this beneficial planet connected to second house is powerful only in that scenario there will be great beauty and that great beauty will be almost permanent as well so lagna is personality second house is beauty and apart from that let me tell you something if mars is connected to ascendant or seventh house then you are a person who is generally very much approached by people of opposite gender for relationships and other things so in this particular case sex appeal or likability by people of opposite gender is too much is very great this also result into saying that the native is beautiful attractive charming or have a high sex appeal so this principle should also be employed and the result should be seen accordingly right for beauty and things related to beauty you can also say that if the second house and second lord is powerful dealing with beauty products opening beauty parlor manufacturing beauty products will also be very beneficial for the native not only that second house because it indicates family it also talks about property as well and if the second house lord is powerful if there is a powerful planet in second house it makes sure that the native will have property very powerful planet will indicate that native will own multiple property right second lord is exalted second lord is retrograde or exalted retrograde planet in second house the person will own three properties at least second lord or planet in second house is in own rashi mul trikon or vargottam one will own two properties at least so regarding properties it is also seen from the second house on the other hand if there are weak planets in the second house then in that particular scenario it will be very difficult for the native to make property or have their own home right because it indicates property and it indicates family also this is the second house which i generally see for inheritance people take it for for inheritance god knows why it is second house which have to be taken for inheritance and when when there are powerful planets in second house second lord is powerful second lord is influencing the second house back that also means second lord is powerful if the lord is influencing the house back the house is powerful which should result technically for practical purposes that the lord is power right so second lord is influencing the second house back great chances of getting inheritance getting property from inheritance and that will be very good for the native also i think because now you have seen many of these videos in house analysis series you can easily understand that i am when dealing with a house differentiating between a planet being benefic malefic or a planet being powerful weak this is something that have to be done very judiciously for example in property there is nothing like bad property and good property property is property so one is able to get property or not able to get property this is strength and weakness factor person is financially powerful he will get property person is financially weak he will not get property so for property i have distributed it into powerful planet and weak planet regarding speech almost everyone is having a speech except for those who are having speaking related issues so everyone is having a speech so i cannot segregate it based on powerful like i cannot like then i have segregated it based on powerful and weak speech based on powerful and weak planet and good and bad speech based on beneficial and malefic planets right so the division of planet good bad powerful weak have to be judiciously and intelligently applied with respect to the planets where with respect to the houses where the planets are situated in and houses where the planets are aspecting and this is how it is done you have to just apply your little bit of intelligence in how to decode this particular signification and you will have result in front of your eyes right 
this particular principle though it looks so simple i have explained it to you in less than a minute but is very difficult not to crack and if you have cracked this then you have cracked many things in astrology and this cracking i will be teaching in my forthcoming course mastering the bhavas mastering the bhav yogas right in mastering the bhav yogas i will be dealing with it in depth with respect to all the 12 houses of horoscope and how to do this magic which makes you a very brilliant astrologer <clears throat> when i will do the course on all of these things i will plan but it will come for sure that i am telling you this year itself so that you should join right coming back to our point last but not the least many other significations are also there for example say because second house is eyes it also indicates like enjoyment if you have a beautiful home if you have a beautiful car if you have a beautiful eyes what you are your nayan sukh your eyes are getting happiness so if the second house is having a strong planet if the second lord is powerful you are having nayan sukh things around you are beautiful right so it means that powerful planet in the second house powerful second lord ensures success also practically on societal standards yes yes it gives great success people around you will say that this person is having a life of dreams he is living like anyone oh very brilliant life he is having in such ways people will praise you if you are having powerful planet in second house second lord powerful or second lord influencing the second house back right so second house is very very important now one more signification related to second house is related to food most importantly this is generally used in prashna what type of food one have consumed is seen with respect to second fifth and sixth house in prashna in natal chart based on the taste of planet it is told what type of taste one will like for example sun connected to second house one will like astringent taste moon in second house one will like salty taste mars in second house one will like spicy taste mercury in second house one will like mixed taste jupiter connected to second house one will like sweets venus connected to second house one will like sour things and mer and saturn connected to second house one will generally like you know like things like achar one will generally like things which are very strong in taste right so based on this what type of taste one likes is told and because second house indicates all of these important things if you consume taste related to the planet who is connected to second house it will make sure that second house is powerful right second house is becoming powerful it will mean that so what i will tell you if sun is connected to second house consume more fruits if moon is connected to second house drink more water if mars is connected to second house eat hot food if mercury is connected to second house in your plate there have to be a mixture of food some sweets also some salty things also some spicy things also there have to be mixture jupiter connected to second house sweets venus connected to second house generally plain food one have to eat if you are drinking milk or eating curd don't mix it with anything plain consume it plain and when saturn is connected to the second house you should consume things which are kept before consumption right these are things which are generally fragmented so fragmented things have to be taken rahu behaves like saturn ketu behaves like mars so accordingly you can plan the food that you are going to consume and if you consume that type of food it will render the planet and the second house strong and as the planet connected to second house and the second house itself gets strong it will indicate that you get more wealth you get property you get enjoyment you get success so this is a very simple easy remedy that can be done that i think because it is not taking anything from your side and because you are consuming food every day this is something that you should do you should not miss over it right so this is something very very important i believe right that you can do this you can also say this is karma correction for the second house if i may say it right so th this is one of the simplest remedy but because it can be carried on day to day basis it is very effective now coming to planets in second house sun in second house if it is powerful it will indicate gain from government if it is weak it will indicate monetary loss because of government 
person can be egoistic in speech and he generally try to criticize others try to pull down others a tendency that he should have to keep under control i related problems can be there loss of eyesight wearing of spectacles and these things can be there the person is much attached to their father and generally the gain of inheritance is delayed in life and as i told you son in the second house also indicates that person for maximum point of time can be alone that means late marriage late child birth and early separation from children and spouse because of any reason in old age this is the result for son in the second house moon in the second house this is a very good combination person is sweet spoken he have large group of friends he is supported by many people the native is famous the native have good enjoyment in life the native is wealthy but moon is a fluctuating planet the wealth keeps on fluctuating that means either the person is doing a lot of expenditure or he is involved in some really bad investments regarding which the native have to be careful the income may not be fixed which does indicate that the native can be indigenous also native have to be very careful about their income and should plan their expenditure accordingly right native lives a good luxurious life and have many things to make himself happy right in his home right generally the person loves food eats well the basic standard of life right good sleep good bed good family members loving family members supportive family members are there but it can also indicate problems related to eyesight the native will get inheritance but 80% of the time because of bad planning and because of not using the resources properly they can lose their ancestral property without making much use of it this is something regarding which they should be careful mars in the second house the result of that person is left alone in life is very significant delayed marriage delayed childbirth separation from spouse and all of these things can be there this is something that the native should be careful about moon in the second house gives a very good sweet speech this person will tell you anything even if that thing is bad for you you will be compelled to do it opposite to it mars in the second house can make the native very bitter spoken it can give the tendency of abusing to the native as well though the native always talks of others good but people find it hard to accept because mars is rational the person is very rational in speaking because of which he can get dissatisfaction of people also generally because of his speech he is not supported by his family members and friend circle is also so mars in the second house is generally very good for wealth it gives good professional status and native almost have secure income it gives good financial position as well and slowly slowly as the life as the is increases the financial condition of the native also becomes very good but mars in the second house is also indicative that because of bad eating habits there can be health problems something that the native should be careful about accidents in the kitchen can be very problematic native should be careful about it also though one can get inheritance if the mars is powerful but mars in the second house will also indicate that there can be improper distribution of wealth between the native and siblings generally mars in the second house does indicate that siblings will be there but the relationship with siblings can be problematic or the siblings may try to snatch your happiness away moon in the second house generally indicates more female siblings and if you are having moon in the second house pleasing your female siblings will be very very beneficial mercury in the second house this person the way he talks brilliant very brilliant because of which many people will be his admirers many people will support him and he will get many things done very easily just because of his speech mercury very good planet but mercury in the second house also makes sure that any promise that this person have done he will not be able to fulfill it and generally the person because he is very good in words and not very good in fulfilling his promise does not have friends for long right his friends listening to his voice will do listening to his words will do anything for him he will also do promises to do things which he will not be able to do and he will lose friends something that he should control mercury in the second house the native is generally fortunate in the matter of inheritance gets inheritance lot of money property in inheritance but the native may not use it wisely and repent later on this is something that the native should do well 
Apart from that, it is good combination for having wealth and finances and native can have significantly good amount of savings but can be spent thrift also. Financial condition is good. The native earns well from his job and it is better if the native gets involved in business. In the family member, generally the relatives, right, siblings of mother and father are many. They are supportive also, but the native have problem with their relatives and there can be fight with relatives also. Something that should be avoided. Female siblings of mother and father should be respected and if they need any help, you should do it. But keeping in mind what is feasible and easy for you, not going out of the step. Mercury in the second house, if afflicted, can also produce speech defects, something regarding which the native should be careful. And most importantly, mercury in the second house can indicate that because of eating an improper mixture of food, some health problems can be there, though temporary, but can be very problematic. This is something the native should be very careful about. Jupiter in the second house, very good speech, very influential speech. Person is a good orator and he promises he will do, he will take care of it. Jupiter connected to second house, I generally say this person is an astrologer, whether you say it is black tongued or whatever. The person have gift of gab and whatever he says comes true, whether he say it by astrology or intuition or just out of blue, it will come true. So this native have responsibility not to say negative things about themselves or others because it will fructify for sure. Also, there is one more responsibility that if you think negative about yourself, if you say bad about yourself, it will also come true. So Jupiter connected to second house, be very careful in what you speak, how much you speak. The person, the speech of the native is loved by many, many people support him. He have good friends, respectable in the society and his speech will give him awards, accolades, owners and almost everything. In the business of consulting, guiding, advising, the native can be very successful. Apart from that, the native is very wealthy also, wealth is stable, financial con uh, professional status once achieved cannot be taken back and Things are very good. The native is prosperous and as the age increases, as, as the age increases, native becomes more and more prosperous. Native is also very beautiful. Will have children and grandchildren, will have a great family, will be supported by his relatives. However, childbirth can be delayed and there can be problems related to childbirth. The native gets inheritance for sure and generally he gets inheritance from many generations. Inheritance from mother also, father also, grandfather also and all of these things are there if Jupiter is connected to. Venus connected to second house, very good. I related issues it can give but native is good in talking. Listening to his talk, this person just by his speech can force anyone to do anything. But they should be very careful while talking with people of opposite gender. Otherwise, the misinterpretation and misrepresentation of words can create many problems. Verbal fight with people of opposite gender should be avoided under all costs. Otherwise, it will be problematic. Native have a good influential speech. Generally, people listen to him. He have a good financial and social status. Earns good amount of money. And most importantly, the life of the native is surrounded by luxuries and means of conveniences because of which he lives an easy, happy life of enjoyment. The native also enjoys good food, have luxuries in life, comforts in life, and is generally tension free. Will get inheritance from family members, specifically from the mother's side. The there will also be a big family, right? Many siblings of mother and father who will also support the native. However, this is not a good combination for marital life. The marriage can be delayed. The sustenance of marital life can be dubious, and marital life will be filled off ups and downs. Most importantly, with the family members of the life partner, the relationship cannot be good or because of over intervention of your family members in your marriage, the, uh, the marital life can go into problem. This is something that have to be taken care of. Saturn in the second house person is truthful. Most important point of the native is truthful. He says truth under all conditions. This is the greatest virtue of Kali Yuga as Ramakrishna says. So this native is making all the good karmas in this life and because of which as the native progresses in age, his life becomes better and better. Because if you do good karmas, the result you can get in this life or next life. But if you do a lot of good karmas, it is very sure that you will start getting results in this life itself. So Saturn in the second house, eventually I have seen 
as the age progresses life becomes more and more beautiful and happy and good because the native is truthful and truth speaking which according to ramakrishna is the great penance for kali yuga apart from that the native is straight forward which can upset many people because the native is always truth speaking many people may not like him but this is what the native is doing best sometimes the native can be negative negativity that he have to live away and sometimes the native can be very practical because of which he can be dry also right this is something that the native should control i will not say that the native is not wealthy but earning wealth and sustaining the wealth can be a little bit difficult generally good financial conditions and good professional conditions come late in life only this is something that have to be kept into consideration because of food because of eating stale food or a bad combination of food health problems can be there so this is something that have to be keep in mind speech defects can also be there this is something that have to be taken care of the inheritance can be denied or even if the person gets inheritance he can not use it properly he may use it in a way which he will repent later on this is something that he should keep in mind generally grandparents are long living the native have a big family and he is generally supported by his family members also but supporting his family members a lot taking side of his family members a lot can give him multiple miseries specifically in marital life with regard to children and with respect to friend circle and in professional life this is something that the native should be careful of rahu in the second house what we call in hindi lachhedar bhasha no that the native is he will present things in such a way that even the most negative thing about the native will look like virtue good in speaking right good in convincing people to do things for him that people will happily do even if people know that he is fooling me people will be ready to get fooled by him. very beautiful voice very beautiful way of presenting things will be there apart from that it also behaves like jupiter whatever the native will say that will come true more or less so native should be very careful regarding what he is saying how much he is saying and specifically should be very very careful about not to say bad things about himself speech wise the native is very good rahu slowly slowly makes you very wealthy also and all the wishes and desires and aspirations fulfill of course all these good results will only happen when this rahu is in a good condition and when the bad condition when the rahu is in bad condition then opposite of the good result bad result will be there right for finances also rahu is good you have good professional status you are supported by your friends and the professional contacts are so great that person can even have contact with professionals other than his professional field which gives him varied which gives him job and work in varied departments and generally rahu in the second house you will see that person is almost an all rounder that all rounder in almost the, like all rounder in profession the grandparents are long living the native gets happiness from grandparents also happiness as in support from grandparents will be there leading to happiness inheritance from grandparents will be there leading to happiness. ketu in the second house you see ketu can also give speech related defects speaking too fast speaking too slow in audible not able to be understood people are not able to understand you these problems ketu can give in the second house most importantly you should keep your tongue under control speaking a lot speaking too much right or trying to over socialize with people can compel you to tell lies also can compel you to say things as well which will portray you in a negative light something that you are not but because you are in a habit of speaking too much you can also say things about people which represents a wrong picture of yourself this is something that you will have to keep in mind apart from that the speech will be effective people will suddenly people will believe what you are saying and because of speech you will have good circle of like the speech is not very cordial that people like your speech so there are not many friends but the speech is influential people will listen to what you are saying them they will believe what you are saying they will like you know and if you have tell them to do something they will do it because the speech will be authoritative right these things will be there but speech related defects can be there as well it also behaves like jupiter whatever the native says more or less it comes true because of which the native should be very careful about what he is saying and should be very careful regarding not to say bad things about himself regarding wealth ketu in the second house is not good for wealth 
सॉरी केतु इन द सेकंड हाउस इज गुड फॉर वेल्थ बट बैड फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ वेल्थ समटाइम्स केतु इन द सेकंड हाउस यू कैन बी वेल्दी बट यू आर यूजिंग वेल्थ इन सच अ वे दैट यू विल रिपेंट इट लेटर ऑन इफ द केतु इज पावरफुल मूल त्रिकोण सो राशि वर्ग उत्तम एग्जॉल्टेड then this bad result will not happen otherwise it can give you wealth first of all it gives you little wealth wealth comes slowly and after that the uses of the wealth the utilization of wealth you do in such a way that you repent later on so this is something that you have to keep in mind with ketu in the 7th house eating too much or eating too less should be avoided i have seen ketu in the second house people generally have very disturbed eating habits because of which they can have problems such as headache and other issues also this is something that they have to keep in mind and ketu in second house best remedy is not to leave even a piece of rice in your plate if you leave food in your plate then ketu in second house is going to hit you very hard so this is something that you have to keep in mind for inheritance though it is not a very good combination but it does indicate that native will belong to a big family and he will be supported by his family members but somehow the family is not very much well to do and ketu in second house indicates that this native is the most successful person in the family the opposite side of which is that the native is belonging from a humble family background so this was related to the second house and we had a lot of things to cover but we have finally covered it and these things do i have told you in nutshell but it have covered the complete gamut you listen to the video over and over again and then you will get those secrets of vedic astrology that you cannot get even after multitude of years right thank you for watching it